Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dhamir. In this video, we are going to learn how to insert Excel or CSV data into SQL Server table by using graphical user interface in a SQL Server Management Studio. Now, let's go ahead and open SSMS and uh, connect to one of the SQL Server instance, then go to the database where your table exists. I have a table called DBO customer and uh, here is the definition of that table. I have an identity column, that's ID, then I have first name, last name, age, date of birth and salary. So if I will select uh, the data from this table, no records are available. Um, what I need to do, I need to insert the data from Excel or CSV. So here in the folder I have Excel file customer.xlsx and I have a CSV file customer underscore 2016.csv. I can use the import export wizard in SSMS to get the data from these Excel and CSV sources and dump into the uh, table. But uh, what I want here, I just want to copy and just paste in the SSMS. So how that part works, so we need to learn that. Here open the Excel and uh, we have column first name, last name, age, date of birth and salary. So column names are fine, we just need to grab the data and the copy and uh, as we can go back to the table we also have the same column but there is one identity column is available so identity is the auto incremental value for uh, this uh, column so it start with the one and increment with the one so first of all right click on the customer table and say edit top 200 rows when you say that you will see this graphical interface where we can dump the data or paste the data here under the ID the null value is grayed out that means you can't really insert anything right here. If I will try to insert it's, it will not let me do anything. But I can insert the values here in other columns. Now you have to click here and say paste. If I will paste what happened? I have a first name, last name and the age and date of birth and salary. Same columns here but I do not have ID. So. Uh, the very first value that will be ignored so this part will be ignored and uh, the, the value will be shifted from right to left so if I right click here and say paste now you see that what happened so the first name was ignored because mapping the way it, it was trying to insert the data into the ID ID is integer so no, we can't really insert the value then last name values become the first name and then age part came here as 32 and 33 that uh, is inserted uh, because uh, uh, Warcard can accept uh, the uh, numbers as a string and the age uh, if you see here date of birth when it came here as the uh, age is a tiny int that cannot have date uh, data type values so that's also ignored and here uh, date is uh, um, um, sorry date of birth is a date type and the salary was numeric so it was not able to insert so the, thing, the only thing was missing we don't need the ID here when we insert the data other columns were right the only thing if we could have remove ID and our uh, paste will just work fine I'm gonna go ahead and delete close this one if we select now you see that these IDs are auto generated the last name became the first name and uh, age is converted here in uh, last name so that's not correct information so let's truncate this table now we go back to the table again right click and say edit uh, top 200 or 1000 rows whatever you have according to your setting if I can select only the column where I need to insert the data or I have the data for those columns I should be just fine come here and uh, you see select show select pan uh, sorry so show SQL pan that's where I need to uh, click once I click there I will see the select query that is uh, uh, prepared to show us these columns so it is in top 200 ID first name last name age and date of birth salary so I don't need the ID so I'm gonna remove that part once I remove that I need to execute so right here execute SQL now you see that we have first name, last name, age, date of birth and salary. Click here and paste the data. This time it should work just fine because we have exact same data and the, the order of the columns what we uh, have in the table they are exactly the same and uh, we can just simply insert the data. Now if you can go ahead and run it, data is inserted, you can come here in the other window you will see 
the data is inserted successfully. So from here we learn something. By by using the, the show SQL pane, we can select the columns in which we want to insert the data. And uh, from uh, Excel or CSV file, we can copy that data and dump it. Now let's truncate the table again. Close this window. Now come back, close Excel. And CSV file, if you guys uh, know that CSV file can be open with the Excel. So by default, if you see it is shown as Excel, once it is CSV, you can simply double click, it will open with Excel if you have Excel installed on your machine. So now uh, here, these are the values I want to insert. And you see that I have uh, even, I don't have header and anything, but I know this is the first name, last name, age, date of birth and salary. And this is the ID. So I don't really care about that. Think about that if I'm only interested to insert the first name and last name. So I can copy that or uh, if I'm interested to insert only date of birth and uh, sorry, first name and date of birth. So let me delete these two columns. We are just uh, delete. And I'm only interested to in, uh, insert uh, the first name and date of birth. I can copy that part of the data, co go back. Uh, and here we go to this uh, DBO customer, edit top uh, 200 rows. And now go to the SQL pan. And once we are there and we need to make a change to our query. If you know that we are only interested uh, to insert the first name and the date of uh, but uh, so I'm gonna remove all of the columns and leave the first name and date of birth. Let's run the query. Now you see that uh, the columns uh, shown here are only the first name and date of birth. So I can click right here and say paste and it will paste the values. Now this is all good. If we go and uh, select asterisk, select every column from this uh, DBO customer table that will return us the values of. We have inserted the values only in first name and date of birth column and other columns uh, are left null as they are defined as null columns. So you see that here we have null constraint and if they are not null, you will not be able to insert the data in first, call, uh, first name and date of birth if the age is not null. You have to have provide the value for age as well. So this is how you will insert the data from a CSV file or from Excel to the SQL Server table, especially by using edit uh, uh, top 200 rows feature. Uh, and uh, you will select the column in the same order that you, the way you have the data and uh, then just paste it there. So it will work for you. One uh, important thing I would like to tell if you have, let's say 100,000 records, uh, or 200,000 record. This this can take a whole lot of time in the graphical. I have experimented somewhere like uh, um, I one time I needed to uh, paste uh, like 300,000 records from one of the CSV file, and it took took whole lot. If you will use import export wizard, it will uh, let's say it will be done in like four minutes. But here it can take maybe 30 minutes or 40 minutes depends. So I will recommend if you have a lot of records, uh, use the import export wizard. I have a video on that one. You can take a look. And uh, if you have a 10, 20, 100 uh, records, uh, you can always uh, uh, click here and say paste, you know, that's that will be okay. Now, uh, let me take you to the SQL uh, server uh, or T-SQL tutorial on Tech Brothers IT. That's where you need to go and all the scripts are available. So it's go to SQL server T-SQL tutorial and here you will see this uh, entire tutorial step by step. So I have uh, chapters, uh, databases, schemas, data types uh, and uh, right now we are working uh, on uh, chapter 7 and uh, this is the uh, third um, uh, heading or the uh, post or video how to insert Excel or CSV data into the table by using graphical user interface in SQL Server. So I recommend watching or going through these all posts and learn the skills and this will also help you in the interview. I'm covering a lot of scenarios, real-time uh, tutorial uh, with the real-time examples and uh, interview questions. So thanks very much for spending time with me and I will see you guys in the next video.